Medical science is reflecting sci-fi sort of once again with suspended animation trials start to, starting to begin soon in a hospital in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Not for space travel, but for saving lives. Uh, perhaps you have a fatal wound is this what this is based on. Tell us about the experiment, Tim. Welcome to the future! <laughs> <laughs> Behold the world of tomorrow! Science! <laughs> so basically, what they want to do is give surgeons more time for wounds that would normally be fatal. Mm -hmm. um, and they do that by cooling down the body to a uh, temperature where it doesn't so much need oxygen, it doesn't need other organ functions to be going. It gives doctors more time and less likely to bleed out and hemorrhage and you know lack of oxygen in the brain and all that. So what they're doing, rather than cooling the body externally, is draining all of your blood, stay with me, <laughs> and replacing it with cold saline, yes. which brings you down to, I think they're saying 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very cold for a person to be. <laughs> There's a little bit of a precedent for this, uh, too. Uh, Anna, a Swedish woman survived trapped under a layer of ice in freezing water for 80 minutes in a skiing accident. A Japanese man survived 24 days without food and water by entering a state of hypothermic hibernation. And of course, uh, it was decades after Captain Steve Rogers was lost, but he was discovered frozen <laughs> under the ice. And oh. he lived! But before they had found great success with pigs. Mm. Um, I found it a little cruel that they had to stab the pigs in order to freeze them and bring them back, but in the name of science, I guess. Yeah, my first thought when I read that was like, can we inject them with like barbecue sauce instead of saline solution? Mm. Oh. Like, get that barbecue bacon right from behind a delicious future, my <laughs> friend. But it doesn't help our <laughs> no. experiment for saving lives, hopefully. <laughs> Now, you may be wondering where they are going to find fatally stabbed people for these trials, and if you are stabbed in Pittsburgh, it could be you. So keep that in mind. No, please don't. No, it, they, uh, they are receiving people. They come to the hospital with these wounds. They ask, the, I think it's an opt-out program. Right. So if well, you don't want to be frozen to be saved from your normally fatal wound in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, <laughs> you should go to this website and say, no, thank you, I don't want to be frozen. <laughs> Otherwise, you might be. That's real. That's happening. Well, they're saying this might be useful if you're perhaps in a, you're, you're, you had been under surgery, your chest is open, you've lost a lot of blood, you're already, you already have a very low survival rate, I believe three to seven percent. This might be a good option for you. So, not necessarily get stabbed to death. But I wonder. I still wouldn't recommend being stabbed in Pittsburgh. Okay. Right, right. Thanks. I wonder how long that would take, though. They're like under the knife, chest open. They're like cutting, cutting, cutting. Not going well. Oh no, it's not going well. Let's just set up the well. tubes. Yeah. Like, wow, like, okay, guys, we got five minutes. Like, drain all the blood, put in the saline solution. Like, is that quick enough to save anybody? Or, or. They're hoping it's worth a shot. Mm, yeah. yeah. So they did this uh, experiment on the pigs, mm -hmm. and they were. Poor pigs. So they, they <laughs> induced fatal wounds in the pigs by cutting arteries with scalpels, place, replacing the pig's blood with saline, which lowered the body's temperature to 10 degrees Celsius. Um, all of the control pigs whose body temperature was left alone, didn't get the saline, died. The pigs, you mean the pigs that they stabbed the pigs didn't that do they anything to die? To death. What? What a control group. That's, <laughs> that's a crazy successful ratio. The pigs were warmed back up at a medium speed. Um, at well, the pigs were warmed up at a medium speed and they survived at a 90% success rate. And some of the pigs needed to be given a jump start in which uh, they're to their hearts. Yeah, like, exactly. um, like you do. take all your blood away and stop yeah. your organs, you might so, need that. But afterwards, they, the pigs demonstrated no physical or cognitive impairment. I bet is, they had a hell of a hangover. That is the good part. Yeah, no, that's the, the, what we're trying to avoid here is brain damage because of lack of, lack of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And if this is doing that, that's the whole point. I don't know if I would want to do this, though. Yeah, I mean, if it's a life-saving option, like, would you do it? Like, if you were, would you... I mean, if my other choice was certain death, yeah. I suppose I would. But this is not something, of course, not to freeze yourself as a delivery boy hoping for a better life. Right. Or to become the super soldier of the future. I think it's one of those things where if they're, like, wheeling you into the OR and the gurney, and they're like, listen, you've got two options. We can freeze you or not. It didn't go well for the pigs. <laughs> They pick not, so you should know that. I mean, like, I got some extra contact solution in my bag if you need so, it. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, fill me up. <laughs> so, methodology aside from the pig stabbing, this seems like a pretty 
favorable or, or promising at least uh, experiment in saving human life if this is the only option left to save a life. And it will be going into implementation very soon. What do you think of this experiment? W would you be willing to undergo it? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's maybe not such a good idea? Let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>